Let's go to the next book, Destiny of America. Read that. The Destiny of America with an appendix. Who are the Japanese? By the road builder. Next page. Uh, does it tell you when this was written? If you zoom into 1921. copyright. 1921. Okay. Next page. Zoom in. Esau, as we said before, is also Idumia. So the scholars know Esau is Idumia. Go ahead. Idumia is the Greek form of the name Edom or Mount Seir. Mm -hmm. That's down. right. Mm -hmm. Remember these cave dwelling habits on the cliffs of the Dardanelles. When we came to look over Obadiah's prophecies concerning Turkey. Concerning Turkey. Go ahead. Timon, you will remember, is an Edomite being a son of Eliphaz, son of Esau. Mm -hmm. The Edomite family named Timon in Hebrew is Taman and linguistically identical with Timon. Ottoman, 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 Osman, or Ottoman. Mm -hmm. Osman, Ottoman, or Othman is an Edomite family name. Go ahead. The historian Gibbon in his 47th chapter gives the original form of the name Othman, the son of Ertogrel as Thaman. Now Timon, or more strictly, Timon, was a grandson of Esau. Next page. The mighty men of Timon shall be dismayed. Ottoman is therefore the scriptural designation of the house of Edom. Mm. Go ahead. And his dominance over Palestine is a striking testimony of the truth of Holy Writ. Go ahead. Having shown that Timon, Ottoman, and Esau are all Edomite or Edom, as is Mount Seir and Idumia, we can now turn to Obadiah and see what the prophet who died in 586 BC foretold, and if it has come to pass. So they're letting you know that the Ottoman Empire or Edomites. Everybody yeah. understand that? Yes, sir. So this is what the scholars know. Now this is what we know. And as a result, we have been commanded to go teach in these places to gather our sons and daughters, our brothers and sisters in these various countries. Give me Mark 16, 15. The book of Mark, chapter 16 and verse 15. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. You know, people get simple. They say, oh, it's preach to every creature. You got Edomites talking to trees, talking to cats and dogs. Somebody got to preach the gospel to you. Give me Wisdom of Solomon 19, uh, six, uh, 62 or something, 6 and 2. What did I say go? When Solomon 19. Mm, 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 mm. Let me a six. The, the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 19 and verse 6. For the whole creature in his proper kind was fashioned again anew, serving the peculiar com commandments that were given unto them, that thy children might be kept without hurt. So who's the whole creature there that served the commandments? The Israelites, the Israelites, the Israelites. Give me James 1.18. The book of James, chapter 1 and verse 18. Of his own will begot he us with the word of truth, that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. You see that? That we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Everybody see that? Second Ezra 13.26. The book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 13 and verse 26. The same is he whom God, the highest, hath kept a great season, which by his own self shall deliver his creature. Talking about the Israelites, deliver the Israelites, go ahead. And he shall order them that are left behind. And he shall order them that are left behind. So his creature is talking about the Israelites. Everybody understand that? Yes, sir. Back to Mark 16, 15, please.
Mark chapter 16 and verse 15. Bring it out. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Mm -hmm. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Mm -hmm. But he that believeth not shall be damned. But he that believeth not shall be damned. From there, give me Luke 24, 47. Y'all can put some pictures up as we're going through the thing. It don't matter. You can put them up. Luke 24, 47. The book of Luke, chapter 24 and verse 47. Bring it out. And that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. So the all nations there. Okay, the all nations. Get me uh, Luke 4, I mean Deuteronomy 4 and 1. I want to touch on the all nations. Because Christians like, they look for scriptures that say all nations or all people. And they go, see, see, everybody. And because they don't do no biblical research, they end up with dumb understandings. Go ahead, Deuteronomy 4 and 1. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4 and verse 1. Now therefore, hearken, O Israel, unto the statutes and unto the judgments which I teach you. For to do them, that ye may live and go in and possess the land which the Lord God of your fathers giveth you. So I wanted to start there because it's talking to the Israelites. Everybody with me? Yes, sir. Give me, jump down to verse 27. Verse 27. And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations. So this was the curse, that we would be scattered among the nations. So when Christ said, go ye therefore and teach all nations, he was talking about the Israelites being scattered in all nations. Does everybody understand that? Read it again. That's right. And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations, and ye shall be left few in number among the heathen. they be killing us. Go ahead. Whither the Lord shall lead you, mm -hmm. and there ye shall serve gods, the work of men's hands, wood and stone. Wood, Christianity, that's the old wooden cross, and stone, that's Islam, uh, the Kaaba stone. Read it again. And there ye shall serve gods, the work of men's hands, wood and stone. Can we see a wooden cross, please? Can we see a wooden cross? I need y'all to stay with me. And there ye shall serve gods, the work of men's hands, wood and stone. So you got the wood, which is the wooden cross, as you see on the left. And the stone is in the center. That's the Kaaba stone inside that, that box. Okay, read on. Which neither see, nor hear, nor eat, nor smell. Mm -hmm. But if from thence thou shalt seek the Lord thy God. So notice that part. But if from thence, meaning the lands, those nations wherein we were scattered. Go ahead, read it again. But if from thence thou shalt seek the Lord thy God, thou shalt find him. Mm -hmm. If thou seek him with all thy heart and with all thy soul. When? But thou art in tribulation. So who, when a, you got certain Christian groups that say uh, there's going to be no tribulation. The Bible says when thou art in tribulation. Read that again. When thou art in tribulation and all these things are come upon thee, even in the latter days. When? Even in the latter days. Even in the latter days. Go ahead. If thou turn to the Lord thy God and shalt be obedient unto his voice. And you know why this is very important? <clears throat> I was watching a uh, documentary yesterday regarding Marcus Mosiah Garvey. I also watched, who else did I watch? Uh, Kwame Karuma. I also watched somebody else I was looking at. Uh, W.E.B. Dubois. Watch something on him. Anyway, the point is a lot of our black revolutionaries, they thought economics was the key to our liberation. They thought making money was the key. Oh, it was Stokey, Kwame Ture, Stokey Carmichael. They were saying, all of them had the same, even today, you got many black um, scholars, I'll put the quote, sing the bunny fingers up, who say fin financial freedom is the liberty to the black and brown race. Read that verse again. Verse 30. When thou art in tribulation, and all these things are come upon thee, even in the latter days. Even when? In the latter days. Go ahead. If thou turn to the Lord thy God, and shalt be obedient unto his voice. Mm. For the Lord thy God is a merciful God. He will not forsake thee, neither destroy thee, nor forget the covenant of thy fathers. So what y'all need to look at is that in these latter days, there will be tribulation. Your money is not going to save you. Give me that in Isaiah 52 and 3. 
Let's start at 2. Isaiah 52 and 2. The book of Isaiah, chapter 52 and verse 2. Shake thyself from the dust. So the dust is the low state of understanding that we've been in. I'm not, it's going to explain as we read on. Go ahead. Shake thyself from the dust. Arise. Arise meaning wake up. And sit down. Meaning study. When you sit down, you're humbling yourself to study. Go ahead. O Jerusalem, loose thyself from the bands of thy neck. O captive daughter of Zion. Here come. For thus saith the Lord, ye have sold yourselves for naught. We sold ourselves into slavery for nothing. We broke the law and we went into slavery. Go ahead. And ye shall be redeemed without money. That's the part right there. Can y'all tell these black scholars today we shall be redeemed without money? Because our people who are focused on money, 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 what ends up happening? Everything goes wrong in their life. Families dysfunctional, broken apart. You see society breaking down. You go, money, money, give me financial reparations. And what's that going to do? You're going to buy some cigarettes? You're going to buy some new Benzes? Bruh. You're going to buy some Gucci? That's going to get you out of uh, captivity? Our people, very simple. Read that verse again. For thus saith the Lord, ye have sold yourselves for naught, and ye shall be redeemed without money. From there, from there. Give me Amos 9 and 9. The book of Amos, chapter 9 and verse 9. And a lot of these people screaming about reparations, uh, some of them have some of the most, when you look at them on YouTube, have the most corrupt or evil financial habits you could ever. Some of them get busted, you know, you, they caught with prostitutes and stuff like that. But these are the ones screaming about reparations. But wait, you just bought prostitutes. You was just in strip clubs. So here you got a million dollars. What you gonna do? Buy a million holes. So financial freedom, that's not going to liberate us at all. Read that. The book of Abel, chapter 9 and verse 9. For lo, I will command, and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations. So we've been sifted. So when Christ says, go therefore and teach all nations, he was talking about the Israelites being sifted in all nations. That's right. right. Like as corn is sifted in a sieve. And as hey, can you find me a picture of a sieve? Put that up on the screen so we can get the thought. A sieve. Spell that for me. S i e v e. Is that it? I ain't yes, looking sir. at it. S i e v e. Yes, sir. Yeah. Find me that. Uh, yeah, that one right there in the middle. Yep, that one. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Good. That's two. All right. That's a sieve. You get sifted. Right, very good. Yep, that is what, they, what the Bible calls a sieve. All right, go, let's go back. Read again. For lo, I will command, and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations, like as corn is sifted in a sieve. Mm -hmm. Yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. When it says, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth, meaning the least of us is not going to be lost. That's those that repent. Watch the next verse. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. But if you are a sinner, God says you will die by the sword. Mm. Good. Which say, the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. That's Christianity and Islam. Because in those religions, ain't, uh -uh, there's nothing going to happen to us. Make America great again. Keep hope alive. That's them. Read that verse again, verse 10. Verse 10. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. Which, sell, which say, the evil shall not overtake nor prevent Because they don't believe the prophecies in the Bible. <laughs> they don't believe, just like our ancestors did not believe Moses. When Moses said, if you break God's commandments, all these curses shall come upon you and overtake you. We said, ah, that's never going to happen. Here we are today, 2024. Here we are. Here we are. From there, give me Isaiah 66 and 20. The book of Isaiah, chapter 66 and verse 20. And they shall bring all your brethren for an offering unto the Lord out of all nations. So you want to stress that. Out of all nations. Go ahead. You, out of all nations upon horses and in chariots and in litters and upon mules and upon swift beasts mm -hmm. to my holy mountain, Jerusalem. 
saith the Lord, as the children of Israel bring an offering in a clean vessel into the house of the Lord. Right. So now give me Ezekiel 28, 25. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 28 and verse 25. Thus saith the Lord God, when I shall have gathered the house of Israel from the people among whom they are scattered. So those are the terms when you're on the street, you want to stress to make sure the listener is understanding. So the part you want to stress, the house of Israel from the people among whom they are scattered. Go ahead. And shall be sanctified in them mm -hmm. in the sight of the heathen. Then shall they dwell in their land that I have given to my servant Jacob. So salvation is not for all races on the planet earth. That is a king size lie. That's been pushed by Christianity and Islam. Okay, from there. Give me. No, I don't want another one. Oh, James. Give me James 1 and 1. Yeah. How could I forget that one? James, chapter 1 and verse 1. James, a servant of God and the Lord Jesus Christ to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. Greetings. So that's what you want to stress. Because so, our people don't know that, that the Bible's talking about the 12 tribes. So when we were in Assyria, ancient Assyria, modern-day Turkey, amongst the Ottoman Turks, those, those are Edomites, by the way, they're not Arabs. We showed the proof today when we were there. When I think Deacon Malachi was calling some of them Arabs, they got pissed off. We are not Arabs. Those are cr crackers. Those are Edomites. <laughs> we made a lot of attempts to meet the indigenous people there. Okay, the, the, um, they call them Afro-Turks. Can you give me that uh, article? Give me the article. Yep. Can we? Right. Thank you. Read. Afro Turks speak of life in Anatolia. Mm -hmm. can, what if we, can we look at the picture? So there's a lot of mixing there. Mm -hmm. They have a black woman over the uh, Afro Turk. She's married to an Edomite man. They have Edomite children. She looked up Israel not in Christ. She said, No, no, no. I don't want none of this. No, no, no. Never have. Stop having these women as your spokesmen. A lot of them, they side with the white man first and foremost. I ain't saying all of them, but nine out of ten. You got the, the men sitting back all docile, and the woman is running her damn mouth for the white man. Go ahead. And look at this guy. Simple as hell. Raise it up. Read. As protests sweep the U.S. and much of Europe in the wake of the killing of unarmed black man George Floyd by a white police office, officer in Minneapolis, Afro Turks, a little known community in Turkey. Because a lot of people don't realize, like uh, Isaiah 11 11 is a true book. I'm not going to It's a true book. So the Lord said his people are in Assyria. That's Turkey. A lot of people read that and go, no, there's no black people. Yes, we are there. Okay, read that again. I'm sorry. As protests sweep the U.S. and much of Europe in the wake of the killing of unarmed black man George Floyd by a white police officer in Minneapolis, Afro-Turks, a little-known community in Turkey, speak of their lives as the, as the descendants of Africans who arrived in the Ottoman Empire in the 19th century. So they know their history. Go ahead. Afro-Turk families settled in the Aegean province of Aden, where their ancestors were brought from Sudan about two centuries ago. Say they are happy in their tight-knit community in Aden. And that's what the woman said. Us being mixed together, we happy the way we live in. So we want to speak to the men. But a lot of you needed a translator that know the language to talk to them. She's the, she knew both languages, so let's, her big mouth, no, we don't want that Bible. No, no. The Lord going to smite these evil black women. What Captain Gedaliah say? Don't listen to black women. That's they right. will lead you far off into the wilderness. You'll be followed kissing a white man's behind somewhere. Stop listening to them. Go ahead. The descendants. I don't care Af if they get mad. Y'all be all right. Go ahead. The descendants of African slaves brought for agricultural work in the 1800s have later made Anatolia their homeland having lived in the Soki and Germanic districts of the province 
up to this day. Although many elsewhere in Turkey, a country that is home to several ethnic minorities, are oblivious to the fact that Afro-Turks have lived in Anatolia for over centuries. When we went there, people looked at us like they have never seen black people live and direct. They, I'm so like this. Where, where are you from? Where are you from? Like, what the hell is wrong with you? We have never seen black people. Where do you come from? America. Oh, I love America. Oh, I love you. No, you don't. You don't. No. You don't love us. No. Stop. Stop. Stop the cap. And they keep our people in a community. They don't, uh, they're not like uh, walk freely around. I'm going to go into that in a few minutes, but go ahead. Although many elsewhere in Turkey, a country that in, is home to several ethnic minorities, are oblivious to the fact that Afro-Turks have lived in Anatolia for over centuries. Afro-Turks cuisines, lifestyles, folk songs, and dialects are very Aegean. Hassan Bebersi, whose nickname is Arap Hassan, and lives in Burankoy village, believes he is Anatolian at heart without discounting his roots in Africa. However, the word Arap, meaning Arab in Turkish, shows how misinformed Turks are about Africans in the country. Mm -hmm. And the word has been criticized to be used in a derogatory manner throughout history. Okay. But Babersi, who is 61 years old, says, white and black children live together like brothers and sisters as a result of interracial marriage. So there's a lot of that going on. That's what the black woman did not want that disturbed. Go ahead. I have a white grandson. He looks like his mother. We are from Aden, more local than Aden resident. We are Aegean, and this is my land now. He says, adding that his children are married to white people. You see that? So that's what we found out when we were there. So 